Okay, so uh, a little embarrassing. That whole last episode, I was talking that whole last episode, but I forgot I was grinding the finals, and I was getting dubs with uh, Damien and the boys in the Discord. So um, I muted the videos. That way, any finals videos wouldn't have any, uh, any voice recordings in it. But then I forgot to switch it back. But anyways, I did, what I was saying last episode is, I did look up how to do the, um, how to customize your logo, like the billboard I did right there. Let me, hold on, let me get some Irish crickets in here. My throat's kind of dry. Alright, so I tried to look up how you can customize your billboard on the website, mirrorsedge.com. But due to the dumpster fire of a corporation that is Electronic Arts, we all know Electronic Arts. You know, we, we know how we know how Electronic Arts operates, am I right? So, due to the dumpster fire of that corporation, if you type in Mirror's Edge into a internet search browser, or any browser, mirrorsedge.com, type that into a browser. Um, ooh, upgrade, sweet. Um, there's no way to customize it. There's no way to customize the flag anymore because if you type in mirrorsedge.com, it takes you straight to Electronic Arts website to where you can purchase the game. Because of how greedy they are. The web I remember the Mirror's Edge website. It was amazing. Like it was awesome. It was really smooth. It was actually like kind of fun, I would even say, to 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 customize your logo. Like there was you could do a lot. So I don't know if that website is still in existence. So as far as I know, you cannot customize your logo anymore. Or maybe, hmm. Credits, audio, gameplay, other? Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's any way to, to customize it at all. So it's really weird. Hmm. But anyways, I did do some research. I looked up some etymology. Um, uh, oh, and also not to mention the, the, the EA website. There's no search bar. There's not a single search bar on the EA website, which is really bizarre. So, I mean, yeah, it's just totally weird. EA's website is not, it's completely counterintuitive. It's not intelligent. There's no search bar. You can't type in a video game and look it up. Uh, the only thing that... The website is really actually useful useful for oh That was interesting. So, yeah, anyways, like I said, the e the Electronic Arts website is totally debunked. I'm going to say it's debunked, uh, which is, it sucks. That's very frustrating that these dumb corporations can't, like, it's really not that hard to run a website. Well, I can't say that because I don't have my own website for for uh, my photography and video game gaming and stuff like that. So I can't talk that much crap. But still, Electronic Arts is still worthless. Um, uh, that is a fact. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, what was I saying? I brain farted. Oh, no. So if, uh, if anybody out there, if you, if there's a way to customize your logo or go to the Mirror's Edge website, that would be awesome. It needs to be out there. It should be known. I mean, that's what, that's what I mean by this game is completely underrated and underappreciated be i mean the website was it was actually interesting like the news was posted up the like you can customize your logo there's other stuff you can customize as well and then you can hear find news i think you could even read the comic on the website i'm pretty sure it's like i'm sad it's no longer no longer up anymore 
but um, before we really do get started, I do want to say this is kind of a random. A lot of the extra stuff. I don't know how much of the story I'll touch on, um, but uh, so to get to, into some more etymology and some more green language. So I looked up some more some more of these words right here: the Centurion Yards, the Zephyr Transit Hub, uh, Concord. So if you remember, the Centurion Yards. Is like it was. Uh, I don't remember quite. Remember. It's like a, a soldier, like a place where you keep soldiers at, or an X amount of soldiers. And then triumvirate was a very interesting one. So triumvirate, it was a the definition given on Bing.com, <laughs> a group of three men holding power in particular. The first triumvirate, the unofficial coalition of Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus in 60 BC, and the second triumvirate, a coalition formed by Antony. Lepidus and Octavian in 43 BC. So it was really interesting. And then we have um, the oh, where to go? Where to go? The oh, the charter, right? So we we can look up the ed, the charter, the etymology of charter. It's from Old French, charte or or chart chart chartre. I'm not even gonna. Tr- pronounce that i need to look up uh i need to ask derek bartolicelli how to pronounce that one so uh it's c-h-a-r-t-r-e from old french means charter letter document or covenant and it's derived from latin cartula meaning little paper charter also has a legal definition like uh you know black's law dictionary it has the quote-unquote legal definition i would say um an agreement The definition of that is an agreement by which a vessel is hired by the owner to another. So with triumvirate, charter... Oh, Zephyr. Zephyr is also another one. It means... um, uh, I I forget what it means. So I'll I'll save that for next episode. I forget what Zephyr means. But these these all correlate with each other. And Charter Hill is right in between two cities where, uh, you know, like soldiers are supposed to be... At. And look, it's a it's a triangle. If you zoom in there, if Charter Hill is an upside down triangle, wow, that's very interesting. So you could say that's a, you could say that's an embodiment of the sacred feminine. Like what faith is, I would say faith is definitely an embodiment of a sacred feminine. Even though in the last episode we just did the mission where we helped um, Rebecca Black or November Black November, uh, we helped her kidnap. Um, a higher, I don't, I forget who the person was, but, you know, help her kidnap somebody. So we did the, uh, you know, we Viva La or even more French, right? It's all, there's so many connections. Like I said in the, on a few episodes ago, the more I look, the more I find, and it just gets me so pumped. I just freaking, I guess that's why, you know, maybe that's why there's no website now because they, they love shutting stuff like this down. They love anything that has good, serious etymology deep in it. They love shutting that stuff down, which is which is kind of weird that they they're keeping the matrix going, which is a uh, fascinating. That's a very awesome allegory. But anyways, um, so it's good stuff. So you have, um, and then you look up charter. So for the for the to go along with the legal definition, the agreement in which a vessel to maritime admiralty law and if you if you uh maritime admiralty law is a is a really vast uh dense really dense topic but so if you if you want to look more into maritime admiralty law i highly recommend you look into santos bernacci's earlier work s-a-n-t-o-s uh b-e uh bernacci b-e-r-n-a-c-c-i his work is I mean, it's phenomenal. I say this all the time. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but his the earlier his earlier work really, truly, it was just um, amazing. It's good, uh, good stuff. Whoa, this uh, this billboard is making me brain fart. How do I get over there? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, or maybe. What? This is weird.
Whoops. Yeah, so um, I highly recommend if you're into maritime admiralty law, if you're into, you know, this type of uh, avenue of knowledge, you can, <laughs> that's the way to put it, you can look up Santos Pernacci. He's a legend. He does fantastic work. There's a, there's a story of him outside of the courthouse where he gets out of a speeding ticket by... Um, because he knows the difference. He knows that they use they use maritime admiralty law against us, and that's one of the ways that they keep us keep us under and in control. I would say, just like in the allegory of this video game or the allegory of the Matrix, you know, they 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 love keeping you under control. That's how they, you know, you can feel it when you go to church when you pay when you pay your taxes, right? To quote the Matrix. So Santos Pernacci does some amazing work on maritime admiralty law. Um, Mark Passio touches on it. I don't know how how far Mark Passio. I think he. T if you listen to what on earth is happening, I believe Mark Passio gets into maritime admiralty law in the earlier episodes. And there's also a few documentaries on YouTube, Chimatica and Esoteric Agenda. Esoteric Agenda is the sequel, so I highly recommend you watch Chimatica first. But Esoteric Agenda gets into maritime admiralty law and it talks about how. Our names are in all capital letters. So if you pay attention to your social security cards, your birth certificates, your, um, you know, all that stuff, identification, driver's license, your name is in all capital letters. And there's a reason for that. It's called Capitus Diminutia Maxima. It's a very interesting, like I said, it's a very vast topic. I can go on forever talking about maritime adulty law and how they use it against us. I mean, when you go to, when you go to court, you can see it. So, maritime admiralty law is the law of the water. So, when you go to court, you are under maritime admiralty law. And that's the, th that's the thing a lot of people don't realize, is that you're under maritime admiralty law. And that's why your name is in all capital letters. So, when you go to court, you enter, like, the gates, right? As if you're going onto a ship. So, and it's all, like, you know, it's usually, if you go into a court, a lot of courtrooms... I don't, I mean, I've only been to a few, but the few that I've been to, you know, they're all like, they usually, they're made with wood. Here, look. Oh, got another recording here. I'm making a diary of sorts for you of our trip. Are we leaving soon? I feel better. We are, but it's a long way to Aurora and we need to prepare properly so that we don't just end up stranded and starving in the Greylands. I wonder if it's really that terrible out there. To be honest, Avani, it's probably worse. But we're gonna be fine. What are we gonna do when we get to Aurora? What we do here, we'll run. And you'll run too, but it's better there. Anywhere is better than glass. I look forward to it. I'm gonna be as good as you someday. You'll be better than Oh dang it, I keep messing up. It's time for you to get some more rest, young lady. I'll come check on you again soon. But yeah, so that like I said, that's one of the ways they control us and um that's how I mean, I don't know how it is in City of Glass, but City of Glass, they're so far to the point where they have, uh, they have overt control. It's no, like, we have, with the government and the U.S. government, the Gouvenare Mens Mentes, um, they want to control, right? And they, and they have control, for sure. Like, if, you know, just a few years ago, we were all locked up in our houses, like I said in the last episode. So, um, they want to, they want to keep us in control, and that is how they do it. They do it through Maritime Admiralty Law. I forgot. I was. I had more. I was gonna add on to that. I totally, totally forgot. You know, and Mark Passio breaks the Matrix down, and that's that's what the etymology of the Matrix is. And V for Vent is. There's a lot of it. Uh, or not the etymology of the Matrix. That's the allegory of the Matrix. <laughs>
but uh oh yeah as i was saying um we do, we have nowadays we don't have we don't necessarily have co or overt control we have covert control the control that we are dealing with nowadays is hidden and that's why most people are not able to see it and that's why i love why this this game is about the allegory that it is and it's called mirror's edge in the city of glass right and the nation is called cascadia because it's we're all living in an illusion that's what the, the matrix shows us I have a new food but like i said this episode is probably going to be a lot of extra stuff i'm going to do a uh needless to say dogan expects these to be delivered fresh so be careful it's kind of absurd that they are considered contraband but you know how it is i worked on a lot of the story last episode when i was saying all of the stuff i'm saying right now without actually um being on the mic because I messed up the settings, but it's okay. Yeah, I did a lot of the story last episode, so. right there one more try one more try i got it i got this santos bernacci work his er, santos bernacci's early work is so good like i highly recommend it if this is your first time hearing about santos bernacci i hi, you have to go check him out Nailed it! That's what I'm talking about. So you delivered the damn oysters. Well done. It's all he's talked about for the last few days. Their special briny liqueur or some such crap. Thanks. Nice. Man, this game is so good. This game is so freaking good. You can still get physical copies of the Exordium comic, um, but it's kind of expensive and I don't have money for it. <laughs> I had to start... Um, hopefully I can keep grinding a lot here soon but i i have been trying to become employed which is rough but it's all good it's all good well i'll still keep grinding as much as i can Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, the reason the music's been... I was like, where's the music been? 
Uh, the reason the music has been off the last couple of episodes because I just I remembered I started playing I started practicing Mirror's Edge off uh, like while I wasn't recording, and I turned the music down so I could listen to a podcast while I was running around the city and trying to get my skills up. So <laughs> that's why the music's been off for the last couple of episodes, which is kind of awkward. I which I apologize, my bad. The music in this game adds so much to the atmosphere. I mean, the, to the city, to uh, the, the music of the game is just perfect. It's it's literally perfect for the city. And like I said, every time you just look, every time you stop and take a look around, you can tell that the same people who did this. Oh my gosh, the same people who did this definitely worked on um, definitely worked on the finals, which is awesome. I think that's why I love the finals so much. I've been grinding the finals like crazy. Hey, runner, come here. I really need that camera this thing that disables the cameras. And it's quite delicate. Ooh, two minutes? Not that I expect you to understand advanced biochemistry, but this little fellow might just solve some of the nutritional problems they're having up north. Get it to my associate and don't damage it. Also, it's in Kruger's interest that this research is stopped, which is why I'm using your services. Speaking of biochemistry, that's the next book review. The next book review is The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. I don't know if I said that on his channel yet, but I cannot wait. I've been working on it all month. I've been grinding all morning, grinding the book out, and then I went and applied to a few jobs, and now I'm grinding this. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm looking forward to recording that book review. I can't wait. I'm on the fourth chapter. There's about eight chapters. So uh, I'm very close to finishing it, and then I'll be recording the book review and immediately posting it, and then working on the next book, of course. But um, yeah, I hope you've been enjoying this this uh, this allegory. I might have to redo this mission just by because I have to pull this wall down. Yeah, pulling that wall down just took so much time. Oh gosh, this guy's a douche. He wants the family throne? Goodness gracious, man. The throne should be destroyed. Oh, first try, what? Nice. That's it, isn't it? I never thought he'd have the balls to 
send it. And you got it here undamaged too. Thank you. She said I never thought he'd have the balls to send it. Yeah, dude, he seems like a little soy boy. But her makeup kind of looks like the uh, the character, the newest character who has the blue hair in the in the most recent Matrix movie, which is very, it's awesome. I like that. I'm super sad the last episode was muted. <laughs> Dang it. So I need this delivered to one of our isolated cells without Kruger Sec picking up on the transfer. Get me? Stay out of sight. Thought I was done there for a second. Thought I was gonna go off the edge. First try good, let's go! I was saying on the, uh... Yes, I can't believe I just got an upgrade from that. Oh, I also did a, now that I think about it, I did a book review on Larkin Rose's book, uh, The Most Dangerous Superstition, and I'm pretty sure he gets into maritime admiralty law in that book as well. So if, if, you, if you want more information into that avenue of research, uh, that's another book I highly recommend. Most dangerous superstition is one of the. Oh, it's so it's such a good it's such a good book, man. Oh, I was saying on the last episode that I might have to, I might have to once I beat the entire game, I might have to use YouTube to try to look up where. To try to look up where these billboards are because some of them are kind of some of them are really tough to get to and i remember the first time i beat this game i had to look up a walkthrough you know
Oh, I don't know what I just did. That was that felt very sketchy. <laughs> so I got a wall run, turn around. I'm also very sad that I can't customize these billboards and this logo anymore. That's rough. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that camera upgrade because that it just helps so much. I'll do a time check here. Oh, I guess uh, I guess I really don't have time to do a storyline mission, probably. So uh, I'll just keep running the extra stuff. Um, I hope you learn. I hope you guys learned something on this episode. Nice. I just love all the lore. Oh no, that's a <laughs> R.I.P. right there. I just love all the lore, all of the backstory, all the like. There's a comic book part of this video game. It's just so, you know. I think that's probably why they buried this game because the allegory is just so predominant. The allegory is right in your face. I mean, I guess not really. If you ha you have to uh, look up the etymology of these things. But that's how you find the allegory of movies and in stories, you know. Like how everybody thinks Full Metal Jacket is a movie that praises the military and Apocalypse Now as well. P people really believe that these movies praise the military, but they're <laughs> they're mocking. They're really just they mock the military. But. You don't understand that unless you study the allegory. I put a quote in the description of uh, episode number eight. Um, if you ignore the wonders of your own house, how do you expect to... Oh, I, for I forget it already. <laughs> but yeah, I put it in the description of the episode 8. It's an amazing quote. Wow, I thought I wasn't going to make that one. <laughs> that was close. And I just saw the name of this right here, the Block Art Center. That's kind of funny. Like, why, why is it block? Right. As if they, they're blocking art, you know. Like, in the, in the another allegory I've mentioned previously was the allegory of equilibrium. And in that movie, they don't, you know, they, they don't like art. They destroy all, all art. 
the Mona Lisa set on fire. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the entire Louvre being set on fire because of some totalitarian corptocracy doesn't appreciate art and they think that art should be illegal? Unbelievable. Like one of my favorite writers, Harlan Ellison, he says, when you read a story, especially if it's a fictional story, it should make you think. It should make you put the book down and think, you know, all the best stories really, you know, you get to that point. You get to that point where you're just, you, you sit and think about the book. Um, I've done that with, you know, 1984, Brave New World. Many people have done it. I'm not the only one. So I'm going to keep running these covert deliveries while, uh, just to kill some time. What? They call- oh my gosh. Man, I'm gonna fight these freaking snitches, dude. You guys suck! There's a Halloween g event going on in finals right now. I, I'm very excited. I want to go check it out. I'm just, I'm really kind of just messing around at this point, getting EXP. <laughs> It's going to get that third level right there. I better get out of here. See on the minimap, there's three dashes. Two of them were filled up. I think if it gets to that third one, it gets really tough. Like GTA, when the military starts going after you, you can't get away. It's just impossible. The only way to get away is to just delete yourself, basically. <laughs> Well, I'm glad the music's back, at least.
I think I got all the secret stuff down here, didn't I? Probably. This one's probably a bust already, holy cow. They were everywhere. What do you mean I failed to deliver? I ran it. One group was right after the other. That was crazy. What? <laughs> you have to be in the specific spot. That's so ridiculous. But anyway, speaking of Larkin Rose, he put it up a great video earlier this week. It was all has, Larkin Rose always has something, some good stuff to say. And if you haven't seen his movie, he just directed pro and produced and acted in his very first movie. It's called The Jones Plantation. If you have not seen that movie, you need to watch it before Election Day. Seriously, it's imperative that you watch The Jones Plantation before you go vote for these nerds. How, how am I supposed to stay out of sight out of two groups of KSEC?
I'm sure if I go back and listen to the Cubbyhole podcast, I'm I I'm I'm positive there's probably some uh, etymology in November. I'm sure there's some green language in 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 that that I'm missing. <laughs> I, dude, I'm aborting this. There's no way. There's no way to stay out of sight. How do you stay out of sight? And then you don't get out of their sight because you're going to the highest point. Oh, I tried to abort it. Jeez. I guess I'll try one more time. Yeah, I already failed. <laughs> I, I totally already failed. Okay, so that one on the ground level is next to impossible. Let's go for this triumvirate. Admittedly, I unfortunately, um, I don't know. I really don't know a whole lot about Julius Caesar in those days of like, you know, z like... Zero to one hundred BC. I need to do more research in that area, but hopefully doing this sort of gameplay allegorical breakdown, maybe it'll bring some more attention to Mirror's Edge and we'll get some uh, we'll get some head honchos to break down Mirror's Edge and do the allegory. So I'll talk to, maybe I'll, I'll talk to a few people, see if I can't get them to get into it, you know, do their own breakdown, see what they think. Because I, I know Brandon, probably, at least Brandon Martin would probably have a lot of good stuff to say about this. To do a billboard? It wants me to go that way? Oh, I see. It's also Morris Kidd's birthday today. Shout out to Morris Kidd. Hope you're doing good. Hope you have an awesome birthday, my brother. He's a big 28 today, so get, uh, give Morris Kid some love if you're into the hip hop. He does a lot of he does a lot of music on SoundCloud. I think I know how to get over there. It's got to be something, something over here in this direction, something over yonder. Maybe I was wrong. I didn't see the swing arm over there. Oh. 
I'm so glad the music's back. The music in this game is oh, it's just so good. Everything about this game is so good. Nice. That's why I love gold. You gotta stay gold. Stay gold, pony boy. And I'm about to get an upgrade. I wonder if I can get an upgrade before the before the episode's over. What's a random little mission I could do? Dun dun dun. Let's see if we'll make it. I think we're going to be coming up on the five minute mark here very, very, very soon. But I'm not going to check. I'm just going to keep grinding. Thank you so much if you made it this far. I said thank you so much about 40 times in the last episode, but you guys didn't hear it because I was muted. Dang it. I'm trying to get finals dubs. I will be posting some Halloween event finals dubs. I am 100% positive in the future. I just have to play the finals and get dubs. <laughs> Got a lot to upload. A lot of dubs. I was thinking about just uh, doing a spam and just uploading all, the, all of the dubs. Doing an upload or a, a dub dump. A dubby dump. <laughs> hey, I could use some help. I'm doing a Raposa data grab. Could use some help getting Kruger sec off my back. Just like the old days, huh? Oh, I took a wrong turn. That's a bust. That's a bust. Well, anyways, so thank you so much if you made it this far. I really appreciate you if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed all the allegory and all the knowledge. I hope you, hope you uh, actually go watch those documentaries. Please. Please go watch those documentaries. And I still got an upgrade. Sweet. Hey, that was the goal. I made it. Um, please go watch those documentaries. Chimatica, Esoteric Agenda, look into Santos Bernacci's work. Um, who else? Mark Passio's work, of course. He's a legend. The One Great Work Network is his website. What on Earth is Happening is his website. He's a he, Mark Passio is a total legend. Brandon Martin, total legend. Sean McCann, Wake the Dead, total legend. End Evil Podcast, Chris Jansen. I mean, I'm, saying, I'm giving you guys pure gold right here. Uh, Will Keller. Uh, gold. Look up Will Keller on YouTube. Look up the Wizard Factory if you're into this knowledge, into this esoteric, esoteric knowledge. Jay Dyer gets a little bit into it, but he's got a lot of bias, I will say. Just to be blatantly honest and totally out there. I don't care what anybody says. I will debate Jay Dyer. Or, actually, maybe I won't because he's just a Christian. Uh, that's like, you know... That's like debating uh, an alcoholic, you know, like they're, they're already an alcoholic. He's going to be an alcoholic for the rest of his life. How are you going to get him to quit? That's physically impossible. Literally physically impossible. I mean, Jay Dyer has already made so much money from, probably, you know, from being 
orthodox as he is, right? Being as orthodox as Jay Dyer is. So that's why he's he's got that YouTube money. But anyways, thank you. Thank you again so much if you made it this far. Um, there will be more. There's going to be a lot more. I'm probably I'm milking this Mirror's Edge series because I just, just it's I, I have so much fun. It's such a blast. This game is gorgeous. The atmosphere is 10 out of 10. The story is 10 out of 10. Allegory, 10 out of 10. It's just like I could talk about it all day. Uh, I really book so maybe you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna hopefully i'll be working here soon I'll, maybe i'll get that comic book and maybe i'll probably hopefully be able to do a uh a, a comic book review that'd be amazing that'd be also amazing but anyways thanks again i don't care if i sound like a broken record thanks again if you made it this far i really appreciate you you're a legend definitely check out some of those definitely check out maritime admiralty law if this is your first time hearing about any of this stuff um you got a lot of work to do to to put it to put it bluntly all right <laughs> thanks again this is episode 10 there will be more uh well i'm just gonna keep grinding i didn't touch the storyline yet i just keep getting these upgrades and the upgrades and billboards all the extra stuff for this let's play grind and walk through um what else what else? I don't know. Stay tuned. Stay golden. I know some of these topics, especially getting into maritime admiralty law and the government, and the etymology of government, blah blah blah. Getting onto that stuff, it's it's tough. It's tough when like waking up is just tough. It's rough. It's tough and rough. So, <laughs> highly recommend it. I hope you wrote down one of these books that I said in this episode. Buy a book. Get a book. Freedom through memedom is a good one. I already did a book review on that. But anyways, thank you again. Thanks again so much. Share it. Share it to your friend's page. Share it on your page. Share this video. Like it. Comment on it. Go to the onegreatworknetwork.com or .org. I don't know. What on earth is happening? Look that up. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Stay golden. <laughs>